Hey everyone! So I um, have a little tutorial we're gonna do with the e.l.f. Um, Everyday Smoky palette. Uh, it's it's a nice little peachy brown and some black shades. It's got a good mix of shimmers and mattes so you can do a, a pretty decent look, uh, look with it. So I thought I'd do kind of an everyday... It's, it's gonna be a smoky eye but it's gonna be minimal. Um, something I would wear to work all the time um, but still really pretty and this was like 10 or 12 dollars super pretty affordable might even been cheaper than that so first I'm gonna prime my eyes I'm gonna use the BH cosmetics smooth canvas uh, I at first I did not like this and now I am totally digging it 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 does make your eyes a little bit shimmery I will say that and you can see it through your eyeshadow or so far the eyeshadow I've used um, but I feel like my eyeshadow does really stick to it. It is kind of tacky. So you do want to set it with an eyeshadow first. So I'm going to take just a fluffy brush like this. And I'm going to set that eyeshadow with this white color at the end. I'm just going to put it everywhere. So I'm going to scoot you guys in um, closer to my eyes so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now you're closer. Um, so I'm going to go in with our transition shade and I'm going to use a angled uh, shader brush. Um, it looks like this. So first we're going to go in with this peachy shade and this one. And we're going to use it as our transition shade. So you're just going to put it all over the crease and kind of up higher than you would normally want to. Not all the way up to the brown bone, but... And I'm just going back and forth with windshield wiper motions. And now, what I like to do next is do the lid first, and then I'll go back into the crease. Um, and then we can put a pop of sparkle in the corners. So I'm going to take a kind of a flat it's not a it's not necessarily what you'd think of a it's not a, one of these flat super ones but it's a denser flat brush and I'm going to use this the one next to it the peachy sparkly shade and I'm just gonna put that all over my brush tap off the excess there's a little bit of kickback with these uh, powders or eyeshadows but it's not too bad and it doesn't bother me so I'm just gonna put that all over the lid So now once we've got a good base down, we're going to go in with a crease brush. So this is a densely packed, um, just something that fits in my crease really well. Use whatever you've got. Um, I like this. So I'm actually going to start with a shimmer. I know most people you start with a matte. You can, if you like just mattes in your creases, this probably isn't the best palette for you. Um, but I like to start with a lighter shade and gradually get darker rather than <clears throat> worry about shimmers and not. So I'm going to start with this shimmery tan shade there. And I'm just going to dip, tap, and put it right in the crease. And I'm going to go back all the way over. same brush and we're going to go into the next darkest shade this one right here it does still have a shimmer to it and then we will finish with the matte brown shade and I'm going to do the same thing we're going to put it right in the same area that we put the last one but just slightly lower because you want to make it darker the, the lower you get so we're just going to Put it right in the crease, underneath the crease, not blending up at all. Next, I'm going to 
grab a smaller um, crease brush or just a smaller brush in general. Um, I'm using this little, again, it's densely, I liked the densely packed ones. Um, and it just, it's going to go, we're going to go right in that outer V and darken it up with this dark brown shade right here. So again, just right in the outer V. I'm not going in circles, I'm going in windshield wiper motions just because I want it to stay right where it is. And then after I'm done, I will go and blend it so that it all comes together nicely. So I'm just sticking to the outer V and sticking lower again than where I put that other shadow. Now we're going to take, I'm using that same fluffy brush that I used to put the white all over my lid in the first place, and we're just going to blend in circles to blend everything together. Okay, so before we go on to the lower lash line and everything, I like to put my eyeliner on first. Um, so I'm just going to do that real quick and then come right back. Okay, so I went ahead and put my liner on. I used on top the Essence eyeliner pen in waterproof. This is... I really enjoy this. <laughs> um, it's super, super affordable um, and fairly easy to use. And then on the bottom waterline only, I use the Model Co. Um, I define crayon in black. It doesn't say what it is, but it's black. Um, okay, so now we're going to go in the lower lash line and throw some color in there. So I like to use the same brush that we used for the dark brown at the, in the inner outer V. Um, to use to do my lashes under lash, under my lashes. So I'm gonna go in with this middle shimmery shade, um, and I get it. A lot of people don't like shimmery under eyes. Um, I do. So um, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna swing that under the entire under eye. So I'm just gonna go right under there. Or you can poke yourself in the eye. Try not to do that. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. Uh, which one, which one? I'm going to use this little pencil-ish brush, and I'm going to go in with that dark shade that we used in the outer V for this one. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of that and I'm just going to put it on the outer third of my eye. So I'm not going to go all the way under because the other one is, is there and it's good enough. Um, so I'm just going to darken the outer edge. I'm going to take that big fluffy brush that we used to blend and I'm going to blend under. I'm going to blend towards the inner eye because I'm trying to drag the darker color in. I don't want to move the other color. Does that make sense? So I'm just going to lightly drag it this way and this way. Okay, and so for the very last eyeshadow part, I'm going to take a little brush something like this. Um, just a very small brush and I'm going to dip into that white. The white here. And we're going to pop that in the inner corners and right at the brow bone. So you're going to take it just above and just below where your eye meets and throw it in that corner. Just to brighten it up 
And if your eyeliner or anything kind of gets bleeds, um, then you can kind of cover that up with this. You can also use whatever highlighter you use. Um, that works really great in the inner corners just to make everything pop. I was just trying to stick with this. So that'll do it for the eye shadow portion. Let me zoom you back out. I'll throw some uh, mascara on and then... Okay guys, so that is the final look for this e.l.f. little tutorial. Um, this little brown smoky eye. Um, it's... I like it. It's very... it's not... it's subtle enough to wear it anywhere, um, but it's still glam enough to make it... you know, you tried and you put some effort into it. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with it. I, I really like this little palette. I know it's not like crazy pigmented, but it's really perfect for, for work. I wear it all the time. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!